All right, guys. Uh, putting my boots on today because today is a very special day. We finished the go kart, so I want to show you guys around it. So here it is. Uh, we'll start up front because it'll be. I think it's better to work front to back. So head-on shot. You got the grill. You got the marker lights and the lights. And I'll show you that the blinkers work. And I also have hazards. Uh, my headlights, I, they're disconnected. I have, I, I have to plug them back in. But the headlights do work once they're connected. So uh, back at the grill, uh, as you see, this is an Etzel grill. Uh, we cut it in half, shortened it, and we got this mesh from like a filing cabinet at my work and we have that back there and then we got a conduit here conduit running along here and then we just got bars going down to finish it up then the bumper which is a old uh, repop uh, wagon we cut it in half slanted the sides to kind of fit with the look of the Etzel and then going on to the uh, hood, uh, we did some patina work. Uh, we added these louvers and added some patina to that. Uh, we took a white to make it look like it kind of faded a bit. And we got two different yellows. And then uh, if we bring it along to the side, we got more patina painted the front rims white to match the back rims. Uh, I did have the windshield in, but I accidentally grabbed the wrong type of caulk. Uh, well, in fact, I didn't even grab caulk at all. I, uh, I grabbed like a uh, cement type caulk for like roofing. So we took the windshield out, but uh, I, we added uh, part of that grate for the side to look like vent windows, more patina. Uh, and then if we go on the inside, uh, my dad painted the, this chair to look like a, a cow pattern. I bolted that to the back, shortened the shifter, and did the dash, and the, on the right side is the key, the kill switch, and the gear indicator. In that center, the giant chrome thing is the blinker. And then on the left is the light. Uh, on next to the louvers, we have these uh, rust lines here to kind of give it a motion action. And then if you see, it could follow with this one here that kind of has the motion. So uh, with the door, uh, we did all this to make it look like you know someone was resting their arm for a long time, and it just faded away. Uh, we bolted down this piece of wood where it won't, you know, it's, it's on there. And then moving back, you get more rust and patina look. Uh, we did white here again to make it look like it kind of faded and stuff. Then moving back here, we put these slat woods to raise, to make the bed look a little taller because, uh, we didn't like how low it looked. So we gave it some hype with the wood. Uh, speaking, speaking about wood, uh, in the bed, uh, we got uh, a pallet and I cut up the wood and bolted it on to, and I hit, used it to hide the wires. Right here, oh, I, well I pulled it out. But right here we have our brake light, which actually works when you hit the brake pedal. I don't know how well you'll see it, but but so the brakes work the blinker oh they are actually on still oh. they're still on oh well, I gotta I gotta there's some things that I still have to fix you know it's kind of just testing things out but then we got the blinkers off to the side of the bumper and the back bumper is the same bumper as with the front uh, and then we added some patina coming down. This is actually some, uh, when I was welding, some uh, a fire happened and we got it on both sides. Um, 
My dad hit it with a hammer right here to give it a little dent and chip the paint a bit. So now we're back on this side and uh, you see these are this bracket holding the wood. That's we made like drips here of rust to kind of follow like it dripped off and that also holds the wood in. Um, then if we come here we have the keg but the keg isn't the gas tank it's just covering the gas tank. Uh, the gas ate the rubber that was in here so we just made it a cover but it looks like the tank and then uh, back here this piece of angle iron is holding the pieces together then we got a piece up and as you could you rotate it and pull it off to fill it and then just cover it back up and more rust here here and then right here on the wheelbarrow uh, the round part of the I don't know what like the round edge we ended up cutting up four pieces and making it look like hinges so it's like a suicide door and we added rust on them and uh, another faded but we didn't go as bad on this side because I figured you're not always driving with someone so might as well go a little less on that side then more patina and then it was finished and now time to drive around and have some fun. Where's he going? I don't know. Where'd you go? Get water. Get water? Yeah, come on. You went to the store? Yeah. Nice. Thank you guys enjoyed your cruise now to Lashment Road. Oh,